Got another low light test for you today. This time I'll be comparing images. On the left, we have the iPhone 14 Pro with a 12 megapixel camera, focal length at 24 millimeters. On the right, we have the DJI Pocket 3 with a 9.4 megapixel camera and a focal length of 20 millimeters. Another thing I want to point out is I didn't turn on the Pro Raw setting, which would enable the 48 megapixel option on the phone. I wanted to be a true out of the box test for both of these devices. Also on the iPhone, I made sure to turn off the night mode setting. Let's dive in. First pick we have here is an outdoor field with plenty of lights illuminating the AstroTurf. I'm pretty happy with both of these pictures. The iPhone does a better job processing the colors, but overall, nothing drastic. Let's zoom in. Here you get to see the difference. Check out that black banner on that rail. You can definitely make out the letters on the iPhone. The Tostito sign above it also looks faded compared to the iPhone. Even the branches on that tree starts falling apart. Next scene, I saw this Tiffany colored G-Wagon and I couldn't resist. I couldn't find anything really to point out here in this photo. So let's zoom in. Here you'll see some noise on the car and pretty much everywhere here. The iPhone does a much better job in keeping it much cleaner to look at. This is a row of jersey numbers from retired Dallas Cowboy players. I apologize, but the pocket was pointing upwards slightly. Once again, I'm happy with these shots. Let's punch in. Same situation. You'll notice the first plaque is completely washed out with the pocket. On the iPhone, the plaque is a lot more focused. The red sign, the store logos hanging on the concrete pillars, all look slightly out of focus on the pocket. Last one. I went back to the inflatable house and took photos of them this time. Both look great. The pocket actually does a pretty good job with the colors this time. Let's creep in. Check out the detail in the tree with the iPhone. Not only that, but you can actually see more of the individual bricks compared to the washed out pocket image. So, in conclusion, I would still use the iPhone for pictures when it comes to low light environments. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.